welcome to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby set for baby boys and girls between three and six months old i'm going to show you how to make the little overalls the little cardigan sweater the baby hat and the baby booties in that order now make sure to check out the information box there i will leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger and i will also leave the link to my etsy shop if you prefer written pattern thank you so much for your support now let's get started and thank you so much for watching now to make these little overalls for three to six months size i used super soft baby double knit james c bread i used a total of 144 grams and i used pink and white now you can also use any number three yarn or a ply okay to begin i'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this dk weight yarn now i'm going to be using two colors pink and white the main color is going to be white but I'm going to start with this pink color. Now, at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn you're going to need for this size. So here to continue, I have 86 chains. This chain here without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 15.75 inches, which is about 40 centimeters. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue with the first row. So here to start with the first row, into the fourth chain from the hook one two three four into this fourth chain here i'm going to make a double crochet now these three chains here counts as one double crochet so i have two in total i am going to make eight so into the next chain make a double crochet that's three four five, six, seven, eight. I have eight double crochets, including the three chains, two, four, six, eight. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make my first corner. So in this row, the corners are going to consist of V stitches. So make a double crochet, two chains and then one double crochet into this same chain now into the next 24 chains i'm going to make one double crochet so into the next chain make a double crochet now continue until you have 24 double crochets i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 24 double crochets now this here is one of the sleeves now into the next chain here make the second corner so make a v-stitch double crochet two chains double crochet now into the next 16 chains we're going to make one double crochet this here is going to be the front or the back so i'm going to make 16 double crochets finish i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 16 double crochets 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 now into the next chain we're going to make our third corner so make your v stitch double crochet two chains double crochet now into the next 24 chains i'm going to make one double crochet so beginning into the next chain make your first double crochet and continue until you have 24 double crochets this is going to be the second sleeve i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 24 double crochets for the second sleeve now into the next chain here make the fourth corner so make a v-stitch now i have eight chains left so make one double crochet on each one of these chains until we finish this first row i will meet you at the end i finished making these last eight double crochets at the end of this first row you should have a total of 88 double crochets including the double crochets for the corners and the three chains here at the beginning so that's a total of 88 double crochets now for the second row we're going to chain one and turn now this chain never counts as a stitch 
here to begin the second row into the first double crochet through both loops make a single crochet now i'm going to make single crochets on each one of these double crochets but i'm going to go through the back loop only so into the next make a single crochet into the next and so on here let's see i have two three four five six seven eight nine now i have the first corner into this chain two space and into each one of the remaining corners you're going to make two single crochets chain two two single crochets now make sure to put a stitch marker here and now continue along and do the same thing for these double crochets so beginning into this next double crochet through the back loop right there make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing i did two single crochets two chains two single crochets and continue along and do the same thing for each corner until you finish the second row i will meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of the second row here at the end into the third chain i did my last single crochet at the end of the second row i have a total of 104 single crochets from here on we're going to be increasing 16 stitches at the end of each row because on each corner we make four stitches so four times four that's 16. now for the third row i'm going to chain two and turn these two chains do not count in this row i'm going to start with a double crochet on top of the first single crochet and from here on i'm going to work a double crochet but i'm going to go through the back loop only until i come to the first corner so here i have that's three Eleven double crochets. Remove this stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now, here you can easily see the chain two space here of this corner, but I'm going to still continue putting my stitch marker right there. Now this is how you're going to work each one of the corners and for the single crochets in between you're just going to work one double crochet through the back loop only like this until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing on each one. Now at the end of this third row you should have a total of 120 double crochets so I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 120 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain one and turn. In this fourth row, we're going to make single crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into the remaining double crochets, I'm going to make single crochets, but I'm going to go through the back loop only until I come to the first corner. So here I have four, Thirteen single crochets now into this corner and into each one of the corners you're just going to work two single crochets two chains two single crochets and then continue on making single crochets through the back loop of each one of these double crochets and then do the same thing on each corner don't forget to return your stitch marker here to mark the center of this corner now at the end of this fourth row you're going to have 136 single crochets i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of the fourth row i have a total of 136 single crochets now for the fifth row chain two and turn 
Now in this row, we're going to make double crochet. So beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now into these remaining single crochets through the back loop, I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the first corner. So here I have four double crochets. Fifteen double crochets. Now we have the first corner. Remove your stitch marker and into this chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each corner from here on as well. Now continue and work one double crochet through the back loop of each one of these single crochets until you come to the next corner where you're just going to do exactly the same thing that I did here in this corner. At the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 152 double crochets. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 152 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain one and turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet through both loops, make a single crochet. Now into each one of these remaining double crochets through the back loop only, make a single crochet until you come to the first corner. So here I have four single crochets. Seventeen single crochets. Here's the first corner. Remove the stitch marker into this chain two space. Make two single crochets, two chains, two single crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. And then for the double crochets, you're just going to continue and do the same thing. A single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets until you finish this sixth row. At the end of this sixth row, you're going to have a total of 168 single crochets. Continue, I will meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making the sixth row. In that row, we did single crochets. I have a total of 168 single crochets. Now, what we're going to do next is divide the sleeves. So, this is what we're going to do. But before, let me tell you um, how many stitches I have for each section. Each one of the front panels has 19 single crochets and 19 single crochets. For each one of the sleeves, this part here, it has 46 stitches. And then here for the front, I have 38. So 38 for the front, 46 for each one of the sleeves, and 19 for each one of the panels. So here to continue, this is going to be the first row because we're going to divide the sleeves. To begin here, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now into each one of these remaining single crochets through the back loop, make a double crochet until you come to the first corner. So here I have two, four, Nineteen double crochets for this front panel. Remove the stitch marker and into this chain space here of the first corner, make two double crochets. That's one and two. There. So now this front panel has 21 double crochets. Now to divide the first sleeve, we're going to chain eight. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to skip 46 double crochets and into the second corner, into the chain space here, make two double crochets. Now 
Now, if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve, you can. The only thing is that when we finish this first row, it needs to be in multiples of four. Now, we're going to continue along and work one double crochet through the back loop only of each one of these single crochets until we come to the third corner. Then I'm going to meet you here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve finish making these double crochets for the front here I did 38 double crochets plus these two that's 38 39 40 and then here in this third corner I did two double crochets so here I have 42 double crochets for this section here now to separate the second sleeve chain eight that's three four five six seven eight now skip these 46 double crochets and into the fourth corner here make two double crochets that's one and two now continue along and finish these last 19 double crochets here so i will meet you at the end of this first row i'm here at the end of this first row this is where we have divided the sleeves now this row is done you should have a total of 100 stitches at the end of this row so each one of the panels here has 21 and 21 for the front side or the back side this here has 42 stitches and under each sleeve you should have eight so that's a total of 100 stitches at the end of this first row now for the second row i'm going to use this white yarn so i'm going to turn here and I'm going to go right on top of this last double crochet. I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through, and I'm going to chain one. Now into this same stitch here, which is the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now into each one of these double crochets, make a single crochet as well. And once you get here to the chains, you're just going to make one single crochet on each chain and then continue along and finish this second row. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row this is where we did single crochets i have a total of 100 single crochets now for the third row chain one and turn now in this third row we're going to begin the pattern i'm going to use my crystal waves crochet stitch so to begin here on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet now into the second single crochet make a single crochet chain two and right into this same stitch here the second single crochet make three double crochets now skip one and into the next which is the fourth single crochet if you count from the beginning one two three four make a single crochet two chains three double crochets Now, for the remaining single crochets up to the last four single crochets at the end of the third row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make another shell so single crochet two chains three double crochets this is how you're going to continue to the end you're just going to skip three and into the fourth you're going to make your shell i will meet you right here four stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this third row I'm here at the end of this third row. Up to here, I have 25 shells. I still have four single crochets left. One, two, three, four. Now, here at the end, I'm going to make one last shell. So I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the second or into the next, I'm going to make a single crochet, two chains, and right into the same stitch here, make three double crochets. I want to make sure that I finish with an even number of shells here so that when we divide the legs, it's much easier. So now I have 26 shells to finish into the last single crochet here, make a single crochet. 
And this is how I finished the third row with 26 shells. Now for row four, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. This is a one row repeat. So you're going to start with a single crochet on top of this single crochet. Now we have the first shell. We have three double crochets and a chain two space. Into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space of this same shell make three double crochets and that's all again we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet two chains and into the chain two space make three double crochets this is how you're going to continue to the end of this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 26 shells as well. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you how to finish this row and how to start the next, since from here on, you're just going to continue on your own. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 26 shells. Now to finish here at the end, just go into this single crochet here at the end and make a single crochet. You should have a total of 26 shells at the end of each row from here on. Now for the next row, you're just going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, you make a single crochet. So if you notice, you always end with a single crochet and you always start with a single crochet. And then on each one of the shells, into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. We have the next shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. And that's all you're going to do here the rest of this row to finish remember you're going to make a single crochet here at the end chain one turn make a single crochet and then start the next row exactly how i just showed you now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here from here on but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do okay i finished this part here i have done a total of 23 rows so from here up to here there's 23 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row it's measuring about 29.5 centimeters which is about 11.5 inches now what we're going to do here is we're going to make single crochets along this front panel so to do this here Here's the last row. Make sure that when you do this part here, you are on the right side. So this here is the right side. This here is the inside of the little sweater. So here to continue, we're going to chain one. Now here at the end, I have this last single crochet. Here I'm going to make two single crochets. Now for this part here, I'm going to work one single crochet on each one of these single crochets for each row. So into the next row here, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next row, single crochet into the next, and so on. Now for this part here, we have 23 rows, so I'm going to have 23 plus one, so 24 single crochets here, because into this first single crochet, I did two, so I'm going to have 24, then into this row, single crochets, make one, and then here for the yoke, we have double crochets, chain one, double crochets, chain ones, into the double crochet, make two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two and then one here, where we have the chains. I will meet you up here and I'll tell you how many single crochets I have and then we're going to work the second row. I finished making these single crochets along this front panel. Now I have a total of 37 single crochets up to this last row of chains. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. The important thing here is that when you do the second front panel, you make the same number of single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now here, beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the second single crochet, work a front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, and so on. 
This is all we're going to do for this second row. Now make sure that you make these half double crochets nice and loose. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end on top of the last single crochet, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row with 37 stitches. Now make sure that this part here is nice and straight. If you notice that this part here is shrinking a bit, just go ahead and use a slightly bigger hook size, maybe a 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, for me, since I did these half double crochets nice and loose, I don't have that issue. So now for the third row, I'm going to chain one and turn. Here we're going to do the same thing, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now the next stitch here is a back post, so make a back post half double crochet. Into the next front post half double crochets, into the next back post half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this to the end here. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. On top of the last half double crochet here, make a half double crochet. I have 37 stitches here. Now, if you notice, I did not make any buttonholes. Buttonholes for girls go on this side, buttonholes for boys go on this side. So what I'm going to do here is the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through. Continue watching, I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use. Normally I use 9, 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size buttons, but I'll let you know at the end what size buttons I'm going to use. So now we're going to continue along the neckline, making front post and back post half double crochets. Once we get here to this side, we're going to repeat the same thing we did here. So here to start the neckline, we're going to chain one here at the end into this half double crochet space, make a half double crochet into the next row, make a half double crochet and into the third row, which is the first row of single crochets, make a half double crochet. So here I have three half double crochets. Now I'm going to go into this next double crochet for this front panel here and I'm going to make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet into the next and so on. Now this is all I'm going to do here all around the neckline, front post and back post half double crochets. So continue like this, I will meet you at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the neckline, now here at the end we have these chains, so right into the second chain, make your last half double crochet. And this part here is done. I have a total of 90 stitches. Again, if you're off by one or two stitches, it's okay, just continue. Now, what we're going to do here is single crochets. Uh, for the first row here of the second front panel, you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here, these three rows. So I'm going to start you off and then you're going to finish the rest. So here, you're going to chain one, and then right into this last half double crochet that I did, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now into the next row, which is uh, chain three here at the end, make two single crochets. Into the next row is a row of um, single crochets, make one, then two, There, now we have this row of single crochets, make one. Now here along the edge here, we're going to make one single crochet at the end of each row. Here the important thing is that when you finish here at the end, you have 37 stitches or however many stitches you had when you did the first front panel. So continue, finish the first row for rows two and three. You're going to chain one turn and then work front post and back post half double crochets, exactly how we did it here on the first front panel. So finish this part, I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at the end of the third row for this second front panel. Now here at the end, on top of the last stitch, I'm going to make a half double crochet. And here is the third row. The front panel is done. So we finished both front panels here. So this facing me will be the left side and this will be the right side. Now what we're going to do here is join both front panels and then continue with row 24 here on the wrong side. So to do this here at the end of this front panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and right into this half double crochet space, I'm going to make a slip stitch. This is so that my yarn is right here, right in the middle of this last stitch. So what I'm going to do here is, because this little um, outfit is for baby girls, I'm going to put my left front panel on top of the right front panel, right there like this. If it's for boy, you're going to do the opposite. So I'm going to join here. So hold both front panels like this and here for this left side we have the row of single crochets so right here we have the row of single crochets and then two rows of half double crochet so right into this row of single crochets for this left front panel so now grab a loop here this is the last loop that I have here for the right front panel pull it through chain one insert your hook back into these same stitches through the single crochet and through the half double crochet here at the end and grab a loop and make a single crochet chain one now we're going to turn for row 24 here this is the continuation so right into this same space or into these same stitches. This is the half double crochet space and this is the single crochet space. Here make three double crochets. Here I'm going to be adding two extra shells at the end of this 24th row. So here's the first increase. So here I need to make one more double crochet. So here's the first shell. Now here at the end I'm going to make the next one but for now you're just going to continue all around we have the first shell here into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets now this part here is the same of how we've been working the stitch pattern so continue all around finish this 24th row I will meet you right here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 24th row. Here's my last shell. Up to here I have 27 shells, including this one here that we added at the beginning. Now to finish here, I'm going to add one more shell. So to do this, I'm going to go right into this row of single crochets for this front panel. And I'm also going to insert my hook through this uh, front panel that's on top and I'm going to join here this end by making a single crochet here now chain two and right into this same space here make three double crochets so here's the last shell here now to finish this row we're going to go into the same space here where I did the first shell so right into that um, stitch space right there make a single crochet and here is row 24 with a total of 28 shells here in this row we added two extra shells this one here and this one here now for row 25 we're going to chain one and turn now beginning into this first shell here we have the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and right into the chain two space here make three double crochets now we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space three double crochets now here you're just going to continue with the stitch pattern all around at the end of this 25th row we're going to have 28 shells i'll meet you here at the end
I'm here at the end of this 25th row. Here's my last shell. Now to finish here, we're going to go to the side where we have this chain space and in there make a slip stitch. And here is row 25 with a total of 28 shells. And this is how it looks. Now, if you notice, I also went ahead and added these buttons. These are 10 millimeter size buttons. I purchased these buttons from Hobby Lobby and I added four. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to divide the legs. So first we're going to divide here the crotch and then we're going to go here and make one of the legs first. So to do this, to divide the legs, we have 28 fans. So I've marked two fans here for the center. These are the two fans that we made when we joined the front panel. So these two here. So put a stitch marker into the chain two space of this shell and after the three double crochet so put a stitch marker there now for this leg we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve shells then for the back side i've marked two shells as well and for the second leg same thing 12 shells so make sure that you put these stitch markers in the same way so two shells for the front two shells for the back so to do this part here we're going to divide um, the crotch first so to do this here we're going to chain two and turn here we have this first shell we have three double crochets here make three front post double crochets Now into the single crochet here, work a front post double crochet as well. So here we have four double crochets. Now to divide the first leg, chain one, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these shells and right into the next shell, which is this one here where I have the stitch marker. I'm going to work a front post double crochet into this single crochet right there. Now we have the next three double crochets, work three front post double crochets. Now we have the next single crochet here, make a front post double crochet and into these last three double crochets, make three from post double crochets now we have the next single crochet here make a front post double crochet so here for the back side i have let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine double crochets chain one skip these 12 shells so now turn and right into this single crochet right here make a front post double crochet and into the next three double crochets make three front post double crochets so that here you also have nine double crochets let's see we have one plus three that's four I just need to work one more here five and then we have six seven eight nine perfect to finish just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop now make sure that you leave a nice long tail here I think I um, cut my yarn too short now you're just going to join these stitches here with the opposite side so that this part here is closed you can do this um, once the legs are done so this part is done that's how it looks so now we're going to go here to this side now this is the back side so on the left side we're going to work this first leg and we're going to go right under the chain space so insert your hook right there grab a loop here chain one now right into this space here we're going to make three double crochets one two 
three. Here we're going to be adding an extra stitch. And this row, the first row for the leg, I'm going to work this row from the wrong side out because the last row, row 25, I worked from the right side. So this next row needs to be worked on the wrong side since we're going to continue with the pattern here for the leg, but we're only going to be working with these 12 uh, shells here plus the one that we're going to add here. So now to continue, I have the next shell here. So right into the first shell, into the second double crochet here, work a front post single crochet. Now, if you notice, there is a gap here. And if you don't want to leave that gap, what you can do is the following. We're going to make a double crochet decrease. So let me show you. You're going to yarn over and right into this double crochet right here, find the leg. Uh, what I mean by the leg is like right here. We did the front post double crochet. So right here through this space, right in the center of the double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go into the first shell here for the leg and into the second double crochet here, work a front post single crochet where you close through these three loops. And that way there's no gap and that's how it would look here on the right side. Now chain two and into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. From here on, the pattern is the same, front post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains and into the chain two space, three double crochets. And this is how we're going to continue for this first row. So I will meet you right here this is the last shell to show you how we're going to finish the first row for the first leg. I'm here at the end of this first row for the first leg. Now here's my last shell up to here. I have 13, including this one here that we did at the beginning. Now to finish here, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go into the middle of this double crochet right here, which is part of the crotch area here, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go here to the side where we have this chain, so right here, and join with a slip stitch and close through these three loops. And this is how I finish the first row with 13 shells. Now for the second row, chain one, turn. Now here we have the first shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain two, and right into this chain two space, make three double crochets. Now here, the pattern is the same. Three double crochets, front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the next shell, two chains, and then three double crochets into the chain three space. Continue like this for this second row. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. Up to here I have 12 shells. Now here in the center where we added this extra shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet. Now to finish this row, I'm going to go directly into the chain space here where we started the first row. So right there, join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row with a total of 12 shells. The first row was the only row that we had 13 shells. So in this second row, I've decreased that shell here in the middle. So now we're going to continue with 12 shells. I decided to do this because I noticed that the leg here is a bit too wide. So the second row is done. I have 12 shells. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and turn. Here we have the first shell, which is the last shell that I did in the last row, into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, chain two, and right into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. Now this part here is the same. Front post single crochet, two chains, three double crochets into the chain two spaces. Continue like this all around. I'm going to meet you at the end of this third row to show you once again how to start and how to finish each row from here on with 12 shells. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here's my last shell. This is shell number 12. Now to finish here, remember to start the row, we chain one and then make the front post. So into this 
chain one space you join with a slip stitch now to start the row you chain one and turn and then make a front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the first shell chain two and into the chain two space make three double crochets and this is all you're going to do to continue for the rest Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue, I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the first leg. I have done a total of 18 rows. So from here up to here, I have 18 rows and it's measuring about 13 centimeters, which is about five inches. Now, if you want to make the legs longer, you can. Uh, for the size that we're making, I think that it's fine. We still need to add about two inches more here. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, like I said, I did 18 rows. So for row 19 here, I'm going to chain two. And right here we have this first single crochet. So work a front post double crochet. Now we have the next three double crochets into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet now skip this single crochet and go into the next three double crochets and make a front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and so on here we're going to be skipping these single crochets and we're just going to work front post and back post double crochets into the shells of each one of these Three double crochets so like this so you're just going to work from post and back post double crochets into the double crochet so this shell now continue like this all around from post and back post double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this 19th row i finished row 19 here to finish i just joined to the first front post double crochet with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop at the end of this 19th row i had 37 stitches now I'm going to change yarn color that's why I cut my yarn but if you're not going to change yarn color then all you have to do is just chain one now to join just go here where we joined to finish the 19th row on top of the first stitch grab a loop here chain one now for about three or four rows this is what we're going to do beginning into this first stitch which is the first front post double crochet i'm going to make a front post half double crochets here we're going to make half double crochets so the next one back post next one front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on here you're just going to work these stitches exactly how they are front post and back post half double crochets now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here but all i'm going to do is just repeat the same thing to finish each row you're just going to go here on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing continue watching i will let you know how many rows i'm going to do here so i will meet you at the end of that row and remember at the end of each row you're going to always have 37 stitches so continue i'll meet you at the end of that row i finished making this part i did a total of three rows here with pink at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop continue watching i'll leave you the finished measurements towards the end of the video now we're going to make the other side here so to start we're going to go right under the leg right here where we have this chain insert your hook now this first row here for the second leg is going to be worked from the wrong side out so grab a loop here chain one and right into this same space here make three double crochets one two three now we have the first fan here out of the 12 what i'm going to do here is so that there is no gap between this one and this one i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to go right in the middle of this double crochet this here is part of the crotch area so just insert your hook right there right in the middle or you can go into the space i'm just going to go through the double crochet grab a loop 
take two loops off. Now into the second double crochet of this first shell, make a front pull single crochet where you close through these three loops. And that way there is no gap there and you already have your front pull single crochet. So now chain two and into this chain two space, make three double crochets. From here on the pattern is the same. You just make a front post single crochet into the second double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochets. Now continue like this all around for this first row for the second leg. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second leg. Now up to here I have my last shell. I have 13 shells including this one here in the center that we added. Now here before we finish we're going to make a double crochet decrease so that there's no gap between this first one and the last shell. So right in the middle of this double crochet insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go right into this chain that we did at the beginning right there and insert your hook, grab a loop and join with a slip stitch. And now this row here is done with a total of 13 shells. For the second row, chain one, turn. Now here we have the first shell, which is the last shell I did before I finished the first row. Into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet. Chain two, and into the chain two space, three double crochets. And from here on, you're just going to continue with the pattern from post single crochet into the second double crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. Now continue like this all around for the second row for the second leg. Here at the end, we're going to decrease this shell that we did here so that we can continue with 12 shells instead of 13. So I will meet you here at the end of the second row to show you how we're going to do that. I'm here at the end of the second row for the second leg. Up to here, I have 12 shells. Now I still have one last one, this one here in the center that we added. So I'm going to decrease because from here on, I'm going to continue with only 12 shells. So to do this, I'm going to insert my hook into the second double crochet like this, and I'm going to make a front post single crochet, but I'm not going to close it. I have two loops on the hook. Now I'm going to go into the chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch and I close this single crochet like this and that decreases that stitch there and now I have 12 shells at the end of this second row. Now for the third row chain one and turn here beginning into the second double crochet work a front pull single crochet chain two and into the chain two space work three double crochets. Now this row has worked exactly how we did the second row. The only thing is that we're going to have 12 shells. So continue like this for this third row. I will meet you here at the end to once again show you how to finish and how to start each row from here on so that you can continue with the second leg. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 12 shells. Now to finish each row, you're just going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now to start each row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now we have the first shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, chain two and into the chain two space, three double crochets. From here on the pattern, continues in the same way. Now to finish, you're just going to join here to the side where we have the chain with a slip stitch, chain one turn, and then repeat the same thing. Here you're going to do exactly the same thing we did for the first leg. You're going to make 18 rows counting from the very beginning, and then you're going to make one row here of front post and back post double crochets, and then you're going to make three rows in the second color of front post and back post half double crochets and that's how you're going to continue here for the second leg so finish this side and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished making the second leg so this part here is all done now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here to the sleeves so I'm going to work one row here and this is more of a decorative row this is so that this part here looks a lot nicer so this is what I'm going to do and it's optional you can leave it like this but let me show you what I'm going to do right here right under the sleeve right in the middle right there this is where we added these extra stitches so right in the middle grab a loop here 
bring it through. Chain three. Now this row is going to be worked from the wrong side. So now I'm going to skip one stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch, chain three. So this here is going to put me right into the first single crochet here for the sleeve. Make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, slip stitch, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a slip stitch, and so on. This is how you're going to continue all around the sleeve. This is how it looks once it's done. Let me show you. It's got these little scallop edge here all around, so that's how I'm going to continue to finish. I'm just going to join here to the first, um, right here where I grab the loop with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing here for the other side. So finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you how to close here. Okay, I finished making this side here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and then I did the other side as well. So this part here is done. You can also do this row here from the right side. This is how it looks here. Look how pretty you can see like little scallops. You can also do it, like I said, from the right side, and it's going to look like this. So that would be up to you. So this here is all done. So now let me show you how to close here the crotch area. So we're going to go on the inside. I'm going to remove all of these stitch markers. We don't need them anymore. I'm going to start here from the center and I'm going to do one side. So I'm going to Find the center here. Remember, we had nine double crochets. We have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine here. That's two, four, six, eight, nine. So find the center. So right here, insert your needle there. Insert once again, and I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go stitch by stitch on this side and on this side, making sure that they correspond. And then just close this thing here. And this here is going to now close. There, tie a knot. Make sure you look Make sure that you take a peek on the other side to make sure that it looks okay. I know it's going to be fine for me, so I'm just going to make a knot here. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, and now I'm going to go here on this side. We have some yarn that was left from when we did the legs, so I think this is going to be easier to close this in the center, or what you can do is just don't cut your yarn, just come back towards this way and then close this side. I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to find these stitches and join. Now there is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that you close this gap and just make sure that it doesn't come undone. There, I'm going to make a knot here. I can always hide that in afterwards. And let's take a look. Perfect. That's how it looks. It's absolutely beautiful. There it is. This is how it looks. Here's the back side. Here's the back and the front here. 
And the buttons that I used, I used four, and um, these buttons are 10 millimeter size. These are heart-shaped buttons. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby, and the buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets that we did here. So it's all done. So now let me give you the finished measurements. Okay, so from under the sleeve to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 35.5 centimeters, which is about 14 inches. From the crutch area to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 16.5 centimeters, which is about 6.5 inches. The total length from the top of the shoulder to the end of the leg, it's measuring about 47 centimeters, which is about 18.5 inches. Now, this measurement from the middle here of the neckline to the crutch area here, it's measuring about 24.5 centimeters, which is about 9.75 inches. Now the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. So based on these measurements, this little romper is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from zero to three months and up to 24 months. Now continue watching. I will show you how to make the matching little cardigan sweater in the same size for three to six months. And after that, I'm going to show you how to make the matching baby hat and baby booties. Now to crochet this little sweater, this is the yarn that I used. It's super soft, baby double knit, James Seabread. Now you can also use number three yarn or a ply, and you're going to need about 140 grams, 100 grams in the main color, and in the white I used about 40 grams, along with four buttons. These buttons are 12 millimeter size. To begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use number three yarn or a ply. I already showed you at the beginning of the video the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn you need to make this little sweater in the size that we're making. Now I have my chain ready. I have a total of 54 chains. This chain without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 11.5 inches. Now if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Just continue. So here to begin, and this is going to be the first row. So into the fourth chain from the hook one two three four I'm going to make a double crochet now these three chains here counts as a double crochet so I have two double crochets here into the next make a double crochet here I'm going to make a total of six double crochets so I have three that's four five, six double crochets, including the three chains. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make my first corner. So into this corner here, I'm going to make two double crochets. That's one, two, chain one. And then again, into the same stitch, two double crochets. Each one of the corners, we're going to make in the same way two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Before you continue, mark the center here. So into the chain space, put a stitch marker. This here, the six double crochets represents the front panel. Now we're going to make the shoulder or the sleeves. So into the next chain here, make a double crochet. In total for the shoulder, I'm going to make 12. So that's one, two, twelve. Let me count again just to double check, make sure I have twelve. So here's the corner, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. This here is going to be the shoulder. Now into the next chain, make a second corner. So that's one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the same stitch here. 
Now, before you continue, put a stitch marker into the chain space to mark this second corner. And now for the back side, we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets. So that's one into the next, that's two into the next, that's three and so on until you have 12. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets for the back side. Now into the next stitch here, make your third corner. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, Now, before you continue, mark this corner here. So place the stitch marker into the chain space. Now for the second shoulder, we're going to make 12 double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet, into the next a double crochet, and so on, until you have 12 double crochets. I finished making these 12 double crochets for the second shoulder. Now into the next chain here, we're going to make the fourth corner. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now put a stitch marker here into the chain space. And here we're going to finish by making these last six double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's one. And here's the first row. Now let me show you again what we did. So here to begin, I had 54 chains into the fourth chain from the hook. I did a double crochet. In total for the first front panel, you should have six double crochets, including the three chains. That's two, four, six. And then we did the first corner and then we did the shoulder. For the shoulder, you should have 12 double crochets. Then we did the corner. For the back side, you should have 12 double crochets. And then we did the third corner. For the second shoulder, you should have 12 double crochets. And then we did the fourth corner. And then finished here with six double crochets for the second front panel. So in total, if you count each one of these double crochets, including the double crochets for the corners, you should have 64. So now for the second row here, we're going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet, make sure you go through both loops. Now, these next single crochets that I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the back loop only. So into the second double crochet through the back loop only, make a single crochet. And the same thing on each one of these double crochets until you come to the first corner. So here so far I have four single crochets. That's five, six, seven, eight. And now we have the corner here. Remove that stitch marker and into this corner chain make two single crochets. One, two. Chain one, two single crochets. Now, before you continue, don't forget to mark this chain space here of this corner. Right here, this is the chain space. Now, for the shoulder here, you're going to just make single crochets, making sure to go through the back loop. So here's the first double crochet. Make a single crochet through the back loop only. Now, if it's easier, just go through both loops. It is going to look a little different than mine, but it should still look nice. So here we're just going to continue and make one single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner. There, I have my corner, 
remove that stitch marker and here you're going to make two single crochets chain one two single crochets before you continue place a stitch marker into this chain space and now continue along for the back side and make one single crochet on each double crochet through the back loop only and that's how you're going to continue for the second row i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row now to finish this row here into the last chain here into the third chain here make a single crochet and this is how i finish the second row now at the end of this row you should have a total of 80 single crochets now from here on we're going to be increasing by 16 stitches at the end of every row and we're going to be repeating these two rows a row of single crochets and a row of double crochets now for the third row i'm going to change yarn color here actually for the third and fourth row so i'm going to be changing color every two rows this is optional you can continue with the same all you're going to do here is if you're not going to change color just chain two and turn i am going to change yarn color here so i'm going to open this last single crochet insert my hook here grab a loop with both colors so the pink and the white here and close this last single crochet now this is how i like to join my yarn but there are other options whatever option works for you that's fine too the important thing here is that you change yarn color now make sure you leave the white there uh, once we finish these next two rows we're just going to switch colors here so we're not going to be cutting the yarn or anything just leave it there so here with a pink yarn chain two and turn now here to begin into this first single crochet make sure you go through both loops here at the beginning and at the end the last stitch and the first one i always like to go through both loops there we have a double crochet and now into each one of these single crochets through the back loop only i'm going to make a double crochet until i come to the chain one space of the first corner so here i have three double crochets the two chains do not count Now remove this stitch marker and right into the chain space, make, make sure you find the chain space here, make your first corner. So you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. There, return your stitch marker to mark the chain space here. And now we're going to continue along and work one double crochet, making sure to go through the back loop. Twenty. Now remove your stitch marker for the second corner and into this chain space here. Insert your hook. Make sure you find the correct chain space. And you're going to make your two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. Put your stitch marker back into the chain space to mark the corner and now just continue along and work one double crochet through the back loop only on each one of these and then you're just going to repeat the same thing into the remaining corners continue finish the third row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this third row this is where i did double crochets now here at the end into the last single crochet through both loops make your last double crochet the first stitch and the last stitch i always like to go through both loops now at the end of this third row you should have a total of 96 double crochets for the fourth row chain one and turn in the fourth row we're going to make single crochets so beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops make 
a single crochet. Now into these remaining double crochets until I come to the first corner, I'm going to make single crochets through the back loop only. Twelve. Now here's the corner. Remove the stitch marker and into this chain space here, make two single crochets, one and two. And here, chain one before you continue, put your stitch marker here, right there. Just insert your stitch marker right there. That way you are ensuring that you're putting your stitch marker into the chain space. Now make your last two single crochets to complete this corner. Now we're going to continue along for this shoulder and here's the first double crochet through the back loop. Make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets make a single crochet through the back loop only until you come to the second corner. And that's all you're going to do. Continue along, finish this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 112 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. This is where I did single crochets. Now here at the end into the last double crochet here through both loops, insert your hook. And now I am going to join the white yarn so that we continue for the next two rows with white. So grab a loop here with both colors and close this last single crochet with both colors. Now with the white yarn, I'm just going to leave this pink yarn here waiting after I finish the next two rows. So with the white yarn here now, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Oh, I forgot to mention at the end of this single crochet row, I have a total of 112 single crochets. So now for the fifth row, beginning on top of this first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now through the back loop of each one of these single crochets, I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the first corner. So that's two, Fourteen double crochets here for this front panel. Now remove the stitch marker and into the chain space here make your corner. So you know this already. Two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. Return your stitch marker here to mark the corner. Into the chain space. And now continue along for the shoulder starting here here's the first single crochet so through the back loop of this stitch here make a double crochet into the next a double crochet and so on make sure that you pull this stitch like this a little bit back these here so that you can see the stitch here, the first stitch. Most mistakes happen right here in the corner. So into the stitches after you make it the corner, people don't, um, don't start back here, they start here. So then when they get to this part and finish the row, they're missing stitches and that's because they started the first stitch on, in the wrong place. So make sure that you do that before you continue. Now, this is all we're going to do here. I'm not going to show you this row because I already did four rows for you. All we're doing is just a single crochet row and a double crochet row through the back loop only. And on each corner, we do the same thing. Two stitches, chain one, two stitches. Now, at the end of every row from here on, we're going to increase by 16 stitches. So at the end of the fifth row, you're going to have, let's see, 128 double crochets and that's how you're going to continue make sure that you change color if you're changing color every two rows i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for my yoke but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for mine so continue let's finish the yoke and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished making the yoke. I did a total of eight rows. My last row here is the eighth row, and it's a row of single crochets. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 176 single crochets. So now I have the measurement that I need for the size that I'm making. So I just measure this across. It's measuring about nine centimeters, which is about 3.5 inches. Now let me tell you how many stitches you should have had after the fourth row. I think we did the fifth row together so uh, at the end of the fifth row you should have had 128 double crochets then at the end of the sixth row 144 single crochets at the end of the seventh row 160 double crochets and here at the end of the eighth row 176 single crochets now let me tell you how many stitches i have for each one of the sections each one of the front panels i have 22 and 22 for the sleeves i have 44 and 44 and for the back side i have 44 so here to continue i already joined the second color here the white so with the white yarn here i'm going to now continue let me make sure this is not twisted here so here I am going to chain two and turn. Now, here I'm going to work a double crochet beginning into this first single crochet. Now through the back loop here of the next single crochet, make a double crochet and continue here working these 22 double crochets until you come to right under the sleeve. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 22 double crochets for the front panel. Now we have the first corner here into this corner, make one double crochet. Now to separate the first sleeve, skip 44 double crochets and right into the second corner here, make a double crochet. So right here. Now, notice that I did not add any chains here between the front panel and the back side. You can, if you want to, you can add more chains here. The important thing is when we finish this first row that it's in multiples of three. With that said, I need to add an extra stitch here and I'm going to add it here uh, in the middle of the back side. So I have placed the stitch marker. So this stitch marker is into the 22nd stitch. Let me double check. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Yes, into the 22nd stitch, place a stitch marker. Now continue here and work one double crochet beginning into the next single crochet here, which is the first stitch here for the back side until you come to the stitch marker right there one into the next that's two into the next that's three and so on until you come here to the stitch marker i will meet you right here i finished making these 22 double crochets for the back side plus the double crochet that i did into this corner i have 23 so i'm right here where i have the stitch marker so into this stitch here these two stitches i'm going to through both loops here so i'm going to make my increase so into this stitch here i have two double crochets now I'll continue along and finish the rest of these double crochets for the back side until you come to the third corner i will meet you here to show you how to divide the second sleeve okay i finished making these double crochets for the back side now for the back side here i already did my double crochet into this third corner you should have a total of 47 double crochets remember the back side had 44 we added an extra stitch in the center that's 45 and then we added an extra stitch on each corner so that's 47 double crochets for the back side now now to separate the second sleeve you're going to skip these 44 stitches and into the fourth corner here make a double crochet and here is the second sleeve now continue along and finish these last 22 double crochets once you finish this front panel you're going to have 23 double crochets because we have an extra stitch here in the fourth corner continue I'll meet you at the end of this first row 
I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 93 double crochets. Each one of the front panels, we have 23 and 23. And for the back side, including this increase that we did, you should have 47 double crochets. So that's a total of 93 double crochets, which is divisible by three, perfect. So now to continue with the second row, chain one and turn. Now here I'm going to continue with the pattern. So I'm just going to make one single crochet beginning on top of the first double crochet. Then I'm going to work a single crochet through the back loop only on each one of these double crochets. At the end of this second row, I'm going to have 93 single crochets. So continue, finish this second row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where we did single crochets. Now here at the end, make your last single crochet and join the pink yarn. I'm going to continue with the pink yarn, but if you're not, then just chain one and turn. So here, you can cut the white yarn. We're not going to need it anymore. And I'm going to continue with the pink for the rest of the sweater. So chain one, turn, beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now skip one and into the next single crochet, which is the third single crochet if you count from the beginning. One, two, three, into the third. Here make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets into this same stitch here. Now the stitch here that I'm going to use for this little sweater is the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch, which is a pattern of mine. The last video is this little hat here, which I'm making the little sweater to match, and the baby blanket. You can find those tutorials in the information box below. So here, skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make a single crochet, chain two, and into the same stitch, make three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets. And this is all we're going to do here for this third row. Continue along, finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is the first row to this pattern, the crystal wave stitch. I have a total of 30 shells. From here on, we're always going to have 30 shells. Now to finish this row here into the last single crochet, make a single crochet. Now for row four, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're always going to repeat from here on. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, you always make a single crochet. Then you're going to have the first shell, we have three double crochets, into the second double crochet here, make a front post single crochet. Now chain two and into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. So into each one of the chain two spaces of each shell, you make three double crochets. Now we have the second shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two space of this same shell here, make three double crochets. Okay, one last time. We have the next shell, front post single crochet into the second double crochet, chain two and into the chain two space of this same shell make three double crochets and that's all we're going to do here for the rest of this fourth row and at the end we're going to have 30 shells continue i'll meet you here at the end to once again show you how to begin and how to end each row from here on because the rest you're going to continue on your own i'm here at the end of the fourth row here's my last shell up to here I have 30 shells so from here on we're always going to have 30 shells now to finish each row you always go here at the end where we have the single crochet and make a single crochet and that's how you finish each row now to start each row you always chain one turn beginning on top of the first single crochet make a single crochet and then we have the first shell we have three double crochets into the second double crochet make a front post single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space of this first shell, you make three double crochets. 
Now we have the next shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. And that's it, that's all we have to do. We repeat the same row over and over. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with this part. I have done a total of 17 rows here, just the pattern rows. There's 17 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of this last row. It's measuring about 25.5 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. So here to do the bottom of this sweater, this is what we're going to do. Now chain two and turn. This row, row 18, is going to be worked on the wrong side. So here we have the first shell. We have four double crochet. Start with a front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet, front post double crochet. Now we have the single crochet here in the center. Make a back post double crochet. You're, you're just going to continue with the pattern. Again, we have the next shell, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and back post double crochet here where we have the single crochet. That's all we're going to do here for this 18th row. Continue, I will meet you at the end. I finished row 18. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. Now here at the end on top of the last single crochet, I did a double crochet. I have a total of 122 stitches for this row including the two chains here that we did at the beginning. So now what we're going to do next is for row 19, here I cut my yarn at the end. So I'm going to go here on top of this last double crochet and with the white yarn here, grab a loop. Bring it through. There. Now chain one and make a single crochet on top of this first double crochet. Now we have a front post double crochet here, make a front post half double crochet. So in this row, row 19, we're going to make half double crochets. Back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, back post, front post, back post, half double crochet. You're just going to do the same thing except that you're going to make half double crochets instead of double crochets. Now continue like this for row 19. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the 19th row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end into the second chain here, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish row 19 with a total of 122 stitches, including this single crochet here at the end. Now for row 20, chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this half double crochet, make a single crochet. Now work a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. And this is all I'm going to do for this 20th row. Continue, I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this 20th row. Now to finish here at the end on top of this last single crochet, make a half double crochet. Now for row 21, chain one and turn, beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a single crochet. Now here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work a front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for this row 21. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of row 21 here for the hem. Now to finish here, just go on top of the last single crochet and make a half double crochet. Now we're going to make half double crochets along this front panel. So this here facing me, this would be the left front panel. So to do this here, chain one. We have the last half double crochet that I did. Into this space here, make two half double crochets. 
Now into the next row, there's a single crochet, so make one. Into the next row, make one. Into the next row here, make one. Now into the next row, again, one. So basically I'm making one half double crochet for each row here at the end. Um, here where we did this pattern, we have two single crochets here at the end of each row, so make one half double crochet on each one. Okay, so for this part where we have the pattern and the hem here, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Now we have the row here of single crochets, make one. Now into the next row we have a double crochet, so here make two. Because this stitch here is longer, so make two into the single crochet make one and into the double crochet row make two so this is how i'm going to continue for the yoke and one here where we have the chain so into this chain row make one and let's see i think that looks pretty good we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. So I have 38 half double crochets here. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next one, the second half double crochet here, work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on so this is all we're going to do here for the second row which is the same thing we did here for the bottom continue i will meet you at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. Now here at the end on top of the last stitch here, make a half double crochet. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now here I have 38 stitches for the second row as well. I forgot to mention that. So now for the third row, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now the next stitch here, make a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on and this is all I'm going to do here for this third row so continue I'll meet you here at the top I'm here at the end of this third row of this first front panel now on top of the last stitch here make a half double crochet I have 38 stitches and this front panel here is done now notice that I did not add any buttonholes that is because the spaces in between the rows of half double crochet are big enough for buttons to fit through I think uh, seven eight or even nine millimeter buttons are perfect here since this is a small sweater you can uh, probably use those sizes continue watching at the end when once I give you the finished measurements I'll let you know what size buttons I'm going to use for mine so now what we're going to do is to continue along the neckline and just do the same thing front post and back post half double crochets so to do this chain one now here's the last half double crochet that I did into this space here make a half double crochet into the next row make a half double crochet and into the next row a half double crochet so I did one half double crochet for each row here so I have three half double crochets now we have this stitch here work a front post half double crochet the next one back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on here I'm going to tell you how you're going to work the corners. Now there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that this here looks nice. So here's the corner. We have four double crochets. Instead of making 
a stitch here for each one of these double crochets. I'm just going to go into this space here in the middle between two double crochets and make a half double crochet. And now we have the next stitch here for the shoulder. So I'm going to skip these two, which are part of the corner, and into this next one, start with a back post half double crochet. Now, this is only because I want these stitches here to match. My last stitch here of this front panel was a back post and I did a half double crochet on top. So I'm going to start with a back post here for the next section. So back post, front post, back post, front post, and so on until I come to the next corner. Okay, here's the last stitch here for the shoulder. Now we have the next corner. Here right in the middle, make a half double crochet. And now since this last stitch here was a front post, so this next stitch here for the back side, I'm going to start with a front post. And then back post. Then we have the third corner, make a half double crochet in the middle, and then start this next section here with a back post. And then front post, and so on. We have the fourth corner in the middle, make a half double crochet, and then this section here, start with a front post, back post and here at the end into the second chain insert your hook and make a half double crochet so this part here is done let me see if I can count the stitches but first let's see how it looks yes, I think that looks perfect very nice now if you notice that this part here is a little um, too small then use a slightly bigger hook size to do this part here but I think that for the size that we're making this for it's perfect I always make the neckline a little bit bigger because you can always fix the neckline at the end so I think we're fine so here let's count we have two Fifty-five half double crochets for this row here around the neckline. Now we're going to work the second front panel here. So we're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to make three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. Well, the first row is just a row of half double crochets. And here the important thing is that we have 38 stitches for this first row. Now chain one. We have the last half double crochet that I did. Make a half double crochet into the next row. It's a row of double crochet, so make two half double crochets here. And now into the next row is a single crochet row. Make a half double crochet, then make two, one. So here what I'm doing is at the end of the row of double crochets, I'm making two. And at the end of the row where we have single crochets, make one. That way we do the same thing we did for the other front panel. So here, two, and then one. And here's a row of single crochets, one. So this part here is just one half double crochet because we have single crochets here at the end. 
and then here we're just going to make sure that at the end we have 38 half double crochets now there is no right or wrong way of doing this if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay the important thing is that you make the same number of stitches um, like you did here for the first front panel that's the important thing that way it matches here so continue i will meet you at the end of this first row i finished this first row for the second front panel i have 38 stitches now chain one and turn for the second and third row we're just going to do exactly the same thing we're going to start with a half double crochet on top of the first stitch then we're going to work a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet next one front post back post front post and so on until we finish this second row now here at the end you're also going to have 38 stitches to finish on top of the last stitch make a half double crochet chain one turn start with a half double crochet and then do these stitches exactly how they are front post and back post half double crochets and that's how we're going to work this second front panel so continue finish these two rows and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making the second front panel here at the end. I just did my last half double crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop, and this side here is done. Now, I also went ahead and added my buttons. I used four buttons, and now these are 12 millimeter size buttons. Remember that the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through. You can use 10, 11, 12, or even 13 millimeter size buttons. Like I said, I used 12 millimeter size. Now, what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I already went ahead and did this side, so you're going to do exactly the same thing here as I'm going to show you when you have to do the other side. So we're going to go here, this here facing me, this is going to be the right sleeve. So we're going to go right here, right under the sleeve. I'm going to go into this space between these last two double crochets we have this row of double crochets where we divided the sleeve so right in the middle right here insert your hook and to do this i almost forgot to mention i'm using a slightly smaller hook size a three millimeter hook size if you're making this little sweater using any other hook size just go down half a hook size you can continue with the original hook size the 3.5 millimeter but your sleeve is going to be slightly bigger so that would be up to you if you want to continue with that i'm going to use the three millimeter so grab a loop here chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet now into this row here of double crochets here of the yoke make a single crochet into that space and now we have the first single crochet of the 44 single crochets that we left for the sleeve so into this stitch here make a single crochet and now just go all around making single crochets like this so one single crochet on each single crochet for the sleeve i will meet you right here at this other end this is the last single crochet out of the 44 to show you how we're going to finish this first row I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. This is the first row up to here, which is the last single crochet. I have 46. Remember that here at the beginning, we added these two. So that's why I have 46 single crochets. Now into this row of double crochets here, I'm going to make a single crochet. So now I have 47. To finish the row, go into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row with a total of 47 single crochets. Now for the second, Second row chain one into the next single crochet right here make a single crochet chain one now into the next single crochet here make three double crochets now we're going to skip three and into the fourth here make a single crochet chain one and into the next single crochet make three double crochets Again, skip three single crochets and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next single crochet, make three double crochets. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain one, three double crochets into the next 
single crochet. Make sure you always go into the next single crochet. This is slightly different than how we worked the pattern for the body, but it'll still work out. Again, skip three and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next, make three double crochets. So this is how I'm going to continue here for the second row. At the end, we're going to have 10 of these shells. So continue, I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we started the first row of the pattern. Now here I have my three double crochets and I still have two, four, five single crochets left. I have nine shells up to here. So same thing, we're going to skip one, two, three and into the fourth single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one and into the next single crochet, which is the last one here, make a shell. So three double crochets. All you have to do now to finish this row is just go here where we have the chain right there and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. We're always going to turn from here on. And here's our first shell. We have three double crochets into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet chain one now into the chain one space right here make three double crochets we have the second shell into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet chain one and into the chain one space of this same shell here make three double crochets one more time, we have the third shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain one into the chain one space, make three double crochets. And that's all we're going to do here for this third row. Continue all around. At the end, you're also going to have 10 shells. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have my last shell into the last chain one space here. Now to finish here at the end, remember we started with a chain and then we turned and then made a front post single crochet. So into this chain space here, you're going to join with a slip stitch and that's how you're going to finish each row. We're always going to have 10 shells. Now to start each row, you always chain one and turn. Here we have the first shell, which is the last shell that you did in the previous row. So into the second double crochet, start with a front post single crochet. Now chain one and into this chain one space here, make three double crochets. Again, we have the second shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet. Chain one and into the chain one space of this same shell make three double crochets and that's all you're going to do for this third row and continue on for the sleeve remember to finish you're just going to join here where we have this chain space with a slip stitch chain one turn and then repeat the same thing now we're going to do exactly 16 rows so this is how it's going to look once it's done we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and then we're going to make the cuff. So continue, make these 16 rows, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to make the cuff. I finished making the sleeve. I did 16 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Here at the end of the 16th row, I joined with a slip stitch, chain one, and then turned. So now for the cuff here, we have these three double crochets for the first shell. Into the first double crochet here, make a front post half double crochet. Now into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet. Now into the single crochet here, make a back post half double crochet and so on. This is all we're going to do for this 17th row. Front post and back post half double crochets into each one of the double crochets of the shells and into the single crochet here. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this 17th row. I finished the 17th row. That's where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. At the end of this 17th row, I had a total of 40 half double crochets. Now we're going to change color here. So 
insert your hook again into the same stitch that you joined, grab a loop here, chain one. Now for row 18 and 19, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to work these stitches exactly how they are. Front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, and so on. At the end of both of these rows, you're going to have 40 stitches, and to finish, you're just going to go here to the side where you have the chain, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for row 19. So continue, finish these two rows, and then I'll come back and show you the finished little sweater. I finished making the cuff here at the end. I finished the last row, joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here on this side. You're going to do it here for the other side. It's done exactly in the same way. So here's the finished jacket. It's absolutely beautiful. This is how it looks. Here's the back side, and here's the bottom. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline here to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.5 inches. Now the length from the top of the shoulder to the end here, it's measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. Now this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little jacket, coat, or cardigan is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now continue watching, I will show you how to make the matching little hat. One thing about the little hat, it's for zero to three months, but if you want to make it for three to six months, just use a slightly bigger hook size, a four millimeter, or go ahead and continue with the measurements that I'm going to provide you with in the tutorial. With the measurements, you can make it for any size, any age. So let's get started. To make this little hat, this is the yarn that I used. It's super soft baby double knit. You can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Now for zero to three months, you will need about 28 grams. You will need less or more depending on the size that you make. Now the hat, you can make it for any size, any age, using standard hat size measurements that I'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial. To make this little hat, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any yarn weight with any hook size. The important thing here is the measurements that I'm going to give you. Now the measurements that I'm going to use are the width of the crown and the total length. Now the first thing that we're going to do is the crown. So this is the width of the crown. I'm going to make the newborn to three months size. So according to this, I need to make my crown between four and four and a half inches or 10 and 11 and a half centimeters. And this is going to be the length. So we're going to need this measurement after we make the crown. Now you can also make it for other sizes. Here are the measurements for those different sizes. So you can take a screenshot of this. So here to begin, we're going to start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around like this. Now right here where this circle forms, insert your hook and grab this loop. Now here, chain two. These two chains will never count as a stitch. Now inside this circle here, make 12 double crochets. Now you can also make your circle with single crochets, half double crochets, however you see fit. I like to use double crochets. So like this, I'm going to continue making double crochets until I have 12. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 12 double crochets. Now here to close the circle, just pull this yarn here. And that circle is going to close and then once we're done you can just weave this yarn all around now to finish this row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row i'm going to chain two remember the two chains never count in this row we're going to make two double crochets on each double crochet so like this 
Beginning into the first double crochet, make two double crochets. On top of the next, two double crochets. On top of the next two, and so on. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 24 double crochets. To make the circle at the end of each row, we are always going to increase 12 double crochets. Continue all around, I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did two double crochets on each double crochet from the previous row. I have 24 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then one, two, one, two, one, all around. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two double crochets into the next make one into the next make two into the next one and so on continue like this all around two one two one at the end you're going to be left with 36 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of the third row i have 36 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the fourth row chain two now in this row we're going to make two then one one two one one let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make two double crochets now into the next two make one into the next make two and into the next two one and that's how you're going to continue for this fourth row. At the end of this row, we're going to have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 48 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. For the fifth row, we're going to make two chains and beginning into this first stitch here, make two double crochets. Now here into the next three, I'm going to make one. Into the next two. And into the next three, one. And that's all you're going to do here. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have a total of 60 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the fifth row. Now, let me measure this for you. I should have the measurement that I need now. So I'm just going to measure across. And yes, it's measuring, let's see, a little bit under four and a half inches. It's just a tiny bit. I'm just going to leave it like this, which is about 11 centimeters. So I'm not going to make any more rows. I have the measurement that I need for the crown. So let's grab our chart here. Here are our measurements. So the width of the crown for zero to three months, it's about four to four and a half inches or 10 to 11.5 centimeters. I already have the measurement that I need. So now we're going to continue with the pattern here. Now, if you're making it for any other size, here are the measurements that you need this to be. And to continue here with the circle, all you're going to do is continue with the same sequence. Um, in the first row, we did 12. In the next row, we did two. In the next row, row three, we did two, then one. In the fourth row, we did two, then two double crochets. In this row that we just finished, we did two and then three. In the next row, you're going to do two and then four. In the next row, you're going to do two and then five double crochets. In the next row, two and then six and so on. That's how you're going to continue and increase your hat. And remember that at the end of each row, you're just going to increase by 12 stitches. So I'm done with mine here. This is the width of the crown. Now we're going to continue with the pattern. So chain two and turn. Now beginning into the next double crochet here, make a single crochet. Now chain two and into this same stitch here, make three double crochets. 
Now this stitch here is the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch, which is a pattern that I have in my channel. I also have um, hats for adults. I also have another version of this little hat for babies. And I'm working on the baby blanket as well. I also have um, a cardigan sweater with a hat, um, a matching hat. So I'll leave the link down here in the information box for you all. So here, so I did a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch here, make a single crochet, two chains, and into the same stitch here, make three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet here, make a single crochet, two chains, and then three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets into this same stitch. And that's how you're going to continue here all around. Now continue, I will meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we started the pattern here for the crystal waves. Now I have a total of 15 shells. To finish this row, we're going to go here to the side where we have the two chains and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row with 15 shells. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now for the second row, we have the first shell. We have three double crochets and then we have a chain two space here into the second double crochet of this first shell make a front post single crochet chain two and into the chain two space of this first shell make three double crochets now we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front post single crochet two chains and then work three double crochets into the chain two space again we have the third shell into the second double crochet work a front post single crochet two chains and into the chain two space make three double crochets and this is how you're going to continue for each one of these shells. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now here to finish, we always go here to the side where we have the two chains and we join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now from here on, this is what we're going to repeat. The only difference here is that you chain two and then turn. So here for this row, we have the first shell, we have the second double crochet. Into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet. Now chain two and into the chain two space, work three double crochets. We have the next shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain two, and then three double crochets. Now this here is exactly how we worked the second row. You just continue in the same way all around to finish. You're just going to join here to the side of the two chains with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing. Now I'm going to continue like this, repeating this row until I have one inch left from the total height. So the total height for this little hat, we're doing the sides here, zero to three months. It says it's between five and five and a half inches or 12.5 centimeters to 14 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and stop making this pattern once I have about an inch left so that I can show you how to make the brim of the hat. So I'm going to stop when I have four and a half inches left or 11.5 centimeters. That way I'm going to have about an inch left to make the brim. So you're going to do the same thing if you're making it for any other size. So continue, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know how many rows that will be for me. So I will meet you at the end of that row. 
Okay, I'm almost done with the little hat. So far, I have done seven rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Now, this part here is measuring from the top of the crown to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 4.5 inches, which is about 11.5 centimeters. Now, I still have about an inch or 2.5 centimeters left from the total height, so I'm going to now make the brim of the hat. So to do this here, at the end of the seventh row, I just joined. Now for the eighth row, chain two and turn. Now here we have the first shell, we have three double crochets. Here I'm going to work a front post double crochet into the first one. Now into the next one, a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet. Now here we have a single crochet in the middle of these two shells, so work a back post double crochet into the next one which is the next shell here into the first double crochet front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and then again we have the single crochet so make a back post double crochet here and then we have the next shell front post back post front post back post and so on. This is all I'm going to do here for this eighth row. Continue, I'll meet you here at the end. I finished the eighth row here at the end. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. I have a total of 60 stitches. Now I'm going to change color. You can continue with the same color. If you do, just join with a slip stitch, chain one. Here I'm going to use this second color. I'm going to make a loop here. Go on top of the first double crochet, which is the same stitch I joined to make the slip stitch. Grab a loop here, chain one. Now in this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into this first double crochet, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochets and to the next back post, half double crochet, and so on. This is how I'm going to continue for this ninth row. At the end of this ninth row, I'm also going to have 60 stitches, just like I did for the eighth row. Continue all around, I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the ninth row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. At the end of this row, I also have 60 half double crochets. Now for the 10th row, chain one, and then here we're just going to repeat the same thing. Front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this all around for this 10th row. I will meet you at the end. I finished making this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this little hat is all done. This is how it looks. Now you can add a little pompon. Look how cute that looks with the little pompon. Or you can leave it without. Now let me show you how to make the matching baby booties. Now to make these cute little booties, this is the yarn that I used. It's DK weight yarn. I used pink and white. In total for each one of the booties, you're going to need about 18 grams. 13 grams in pink and 4 grams in white. You will need less or more depending on the size that you're making. To begin, I'll be using this 3 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number 3 yarn or 8 ply. Now at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn we're going to need for the baby shoes that we're going to make here in this tutorial. So here to begin I have 12 chains into the third chain from the hook one two three into this third chain here make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next and so on. This is all we're going to do here. Make sure that you're only going through the first loop here of the chain because once we finish this side we're going to come back around the other side and do the same thing so make sure to only go through the front loop here of the chain I have one last chain so far I have let's see 
we have two, four, six, eight, nine half double crochets, not counting the two chains that we left here. So now into this last chain, I'm going to make seven half double crochets. So insert your hook, that's one, seven half double crochets. Now along the other side of the chain, beginning into the next stitch here, make a half double crochet and continue until you have nine half double crochets for this other side. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine half double crochets along this other side. Now we have the two chains here that were left when we started. So into this next chain, make sure you go through both loops like this insert your hook and here you're going to make seven half double crochets that's one seven now to finish this first row go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row. You should have a total of 32 half double crochets. We have nine here for this side, then we did seven, nine here, and then seven. So that's a total of 32 stitches. Now for the second row, chain two. These two chains do not count. Beginning into this first stitch where we joined, make a double crochet. Here I'm going to make a total of nine double crochets. That's two. nine there now into the next seven stitches this is what we're going to do we're going to make two double crochets into each one of these seven half double crochets beginning into the next make two double crochets into the next that's three and four into the next five and six into the next seven eight into the next nine ten into the next eleven twelve and into the next thirteen and fourteen there we have 14 double crochets here for the center now continue and make one double crochet into the next nine half double crochets so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work the center part on the other side i finished making these nine double crochets along this side we have two four six eight nine into the next seven half double crochets we're going to make two double crochets so beginning into the next stitch make two double crochets into the next three and four into the next five and six into the next seven and eight into the next nine and ten into the next eleven and 12 and into the last 13 and 14. now to finish this second row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the second row at the end of this row you should have a total of 46 stitches we have nine here for this side 14 9 and 14 so that's a total of 46 stitches now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop i already had cut my yarn so this part here is done this is the sole of the baby booties now what you're going to do next is you're going to make three more each booty is going to have two pieces so like this you can just make one that would be up to you so what we're going to do next is we're going to join both pieces together so this here is the right side and here's the back so we're going to put back to back like this 
Now, before you continue, you need to hide your ends. I already did this here. Here, we're going to mark the center for this part and here also. So to do this, we have these 14 stitches, so count seven. That's two, four, six, seven. Place a stitch marker. Same thing for this one, two, four, six, seven. Place a stitch marker between the seventh and the eighth. And repeat the same thing for this other side. We have two, four, six, seven. Put a stitch marker, two, four, six, seven, there. Now for this side, you should have 23 stitches and on this side, 23 as well. So here to begin, it doesn't matter which end, you're just going to go into this next stitch after the stitch marker and through the second piece, insert your hook here, grab a loop with the second color and chain two. Right into this same stitch here through both um, pieces, insert your hook and make a double crochet. Now into the next two stitches, a double crochet and a double crochet into the next two. And this is how we're going to continue to join both pieces all around. Just make one double crochet through this piece and through the second piece here in the back. At the end of this first row, you're going to be left with 46 stitches, which is the same number of stitches we had in the second row here of the sole. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 46 double crochets. We have joined the two pieces together. So now you can remove the stitch marker here. This was just to mark the center. Uh, since from now on, this is going to be the back and here's going to be the front. So to finish this first row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row with 46 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two. Now beginning into this first stitch, which is the same one we joined to, make a double crochet, a double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next, and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do. It's just double crochets all around. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did double crochets all around. I have 46 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now in the third row, we're going to start to reduce this part here of the front of the booty. Here you're going to mark 13 stitches for this side. Then we have 20 stitches for the front and then 13 stitches here. So to do the third row, we're going to chain two and right into the same stitch here, make your first double crochet. Here I'm going to work these 13 double crochets. So that's one, thirteen. Now we have the next 20 stitches. Here we're going to decrease and we're going to make double crochet two together. So beginning into the next stitch after the stitch marker, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over again and into the next stitch, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. into the next two, repeat the same thing. And this is how we're going to work this center part of the booty. There. Here you should have 10 stitches now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now continue along and work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. I'm here at the end of the third row. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 36 stitches, 13 plus 13 plus 10. So that's a total of 36 stitches at the end of this third row. 
Now for the fourth row, I have moved my stitch markers. Here we're going to mark 11 stitches on this side. Then we're going to mark 14 stitches here for the center. And here on this other side, we have 11 stitches. So for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and right into this first stitch, which is the same one that we joined to, make a double crochet. Here I'm going to make 11 double crochets, so that's two, Eleven. Now we have the next 14 stitches. We're going to work double crochet two together. So yarn over and beginning into the next stitch, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now into the next two, same thing, a double crochet decrease. So that's two. Seven. So here for the center part, you should be left with seven stitches. Now we have the last 11 stitches, so make one double crochet into each one of these last 11 double crochets. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. At the end of this row, I have 29 stitches. We have 11 stitches along this side. We have seven stitches for the front and 11 stitches here on this other side. So that's a total of 29 stitches at the end of this fourth row. To finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row five, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're just going to make double crochets all around. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, and so on. Here, we're just going to work double crochets all around, like I said, and at the end of this row, we're also going to be left with 29 double crochets. Continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. In this row, we did double crochets all around. I have a total of 29 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row six, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make front post and back post double crochets. Beginning into this first double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Into the next, a back post double crochet. Into the next, front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet and so on continue like this all around just making front post and back post double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this sixth row i'm here at the end of the sixth row in this row we did front post and back post double crochets i have 29 stitches now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for row seven chain one in this row we're going to make single crochets all around so beginning into the first stitch make a single crochet into the next a single crochet and so on Continue like this all around, just making single crochets. At the end of this seventh row, we're going to have 29 single crochets. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. In this row, we did single crochets. I have 29. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row eight, we're going to begin the pattern. So here, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go into the next single crochet right here and make a single crochet. Now you can put a stitch marker here where I did this chain. This is the chain that we're going to join to with a slip stitch at the end of each row. So here we're going to now chain two and right into this same stitch where I did the single crochet, make three double crochets. Now skip three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets into this same stitch. 
Now this is how I'm going to continue all around. If you want to change yarn color here for the cuff of the booty, you can. This is how it's going to look once it's done. I'm going to do mine all in pink and then at the end, I'm going to do one row in white. But if you want to do this part here in a different color, you can. Continue like this for this eighth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have a total of seven of these shells. Now here at the end, I have three single crochets left. I'm going to skip these three and I'm going to go right into the chain space that I did here. That's the first chain that we did, remember I told you? So right to the side, I'm going to go in there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the eighth row with seven shells. Now for the ninth row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now this ninth row is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. So you just chain one, turn. Now we have the first shell, we have three double crochets and a chain two space. Into the second double crochet of this first shell, make a front pull single crochet. Now remember, this chain here that we did at the beginning that's where you're going to join to at the end of each row now chain two and right into the chain two space of this first shell make three double crochets we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet two chains and into the chain two space three double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of the shells. Now continue like this for this ninth row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the ninth row. I have seven shells. Now to finish, you always go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, like I said, this is the row that we're going to repeat for the rest of the cuff here. So for row 10, I'm going to start you off. You just chain one and turn. We have the first shell here into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains and into the chain two space of this same shell, make three double crochets. We have the second shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains and into the chain two of this same shell, make three double crochets into this chain two space and that's how you're going to continue all around which is the same thing we did in the ninth row now to finish the row you just go here to the side where we have the chain join with a slip stitch chain one turn and then repeat the same thing now for this part here for the cuff i did a total of let's see seven rows in the same color and then for the eighth row i changed to white so we have one two three four five six seven yes so seven rows continue make these seven rows and then i'm going to come back and show you the last row i finished making these seven rows here we have one two three four five six seven now here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so here we're going to make one more row and i'm going to use this white yarn so here, insert your hook into the same stitch that we joined to, grab a loop, chain one, and turn. We have the first shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two, make three double crochets. The rest is the same. How you work this part here so continue finish this last row and then i'll come back and show you the finished booties i finished making this last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done now in total we did seven rows here and then the last row the eighth row here i did it in white so the booties are all done you can also just weave a ribbon here all around if you like and you can just fold the cuff like this or wear them as little boots. That would be up to you. So the booties are all done. These booties are for babies between three and six months, and I made them to match this beautiful little set, which includes the matching little cardigan sweater, the little hat, and the little overalls. So this completes this beautiful set for baby boys and girls between three and six months old using the Crystal Waves crochet stitch pattern. Now, as always, remember, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support.